another special episode of Magnets, Crystals, and Pyramids. And you know I am your guest host, Sister Murr. And I'm here alongside some of the most extravagant, most phenomenal women who have ever been on this show. Please welcome Queen Kim Weston Moran and Queen Gwen Black. Ashe, Ashe. All right. Looking good yes. on the hills of Brooklyn. <laughs> now, before we get started, I must, first and foremost, shout out Brother Hank for making all of this unofficial and opening up this amazing space for us to have this interview. Thank you, Brother Thank you. Hank. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Hank. Thank now, we have something very special coming up on this Saturday. We have an art and jazz exhibit for the Art and Jazz Fest of NYC, New York City happening at the Stuyvesant Mansion this Saturday, January the 18th. And this is going to be a real special art exhibit and it's going to be curated by none other than the sister here, Gwendolyn Black, and also this beautiful sister here who is actually the daughter of the one and only Randy Weston. Ashe, Ashe. So this is going to be a tribute to Randy Weston, the man and the music. Please, Miss Kim Weston, tell us more about this event on Saturday. Okay, well, it's a uh, jazz, uh, arts and jazz fest in NYC, which is founded by Gwen Wendelin Black, who is a phenomenal artist and a producer. And this year, Gwen decided to do a tribute to Dad, who, as she says, I'm going to take her line, that he's like an angel on her shoulder. Mm -hmm. And he has supported her as well as many, many uh, up-and-coming artists, uh, whether it be musical, visual, theatrical. He's supported a lot of people. Um, so this is a photo, three rooms of photos and uh, fine art dedicated to Randy Weston. Mm. And we're also going to have some entertainment. We're going to have uh, Sister Murr's daughter and some other young ladies. And for the purposes of this, we're going to call them the red, black, and green BGs. Uh, BBs. BBs. Well, BBs. I want to say BGs. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> um, the dynamic queen, Black Rose, has written a new piece. And she has a flautist uh, accompanying her. Baba G. Way. That's right, Brother Baba G. Way. And um, I'm going to turn it over to Gwen and let her tell you more about the art and the concept and how she started and all those things. But I'm very, uh, I feel very blessed and I'm, I'm very appreciative of the fact that uh, we're doing this. I think it's really special. Oh, and when you come, the work is available for sale. All okay. right, all right. Mm -hmm. we, we will work out a layaway plan if we must. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, now, yes. Sister Gwen, please. Now, I've heard you've been doing this for quite some time. Tell the people how long you've been actually having this event. Actually, Art and Jazz Fest, uh, as a festival, is now going on 17 years. Oh, wow. Last year was the 16, and now we're preparing for the 17. And the focus behind the festival is to be a vehicle to give visual artists an opportunity to showcase their works dedicated to jazz. Um, I got very involved in jazz many, many years ago. Uh, a lot of uh, folks in the area of jazz, they know the photographers, they support the photography, but there are many artists going back to the Bearded, and Lewis, and many, many prominent artists who have always supported jazz in their work. So we needed a vehicle so the contemporary artists, the, the artists of today, that we support emerging, established, and master artists. Mm -hmm. And we have to have an opportunity where they all to come together, yes. have their work shown, mm -hmm. and be supported by the public. That's right. And so this is why the focus of the um, exhibition is for two and a half months, and then it's highlighted by the music. Mm -hmm. So I have been able to connect my friends on the jazz side mm -hmm. with my friends on the visual side. Oh, right. They go hand in hand. They go hand in right hand. Right on. Got to have the arts. Yeah. We give thanks for that. 
And you know, you come from a real art renaissance place. Could you tell the people where you from? Because I've had the pleasure of actually meeting you mm -hmm. at NAMA at the New Amsterdam Music mm -hmm. Association. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, shout out to Sister Imani. Um, so I had the pleasure of meeting you there. Yes, yes. And so has um, Randy, um, brother beloved Randy Weston ever come through the doors of NAMA, perhaps? Perhaps. Perhaps, I don't know. Because I, I know mean, NAMA's movies. been around a long time. Yes. Very long time. And, you know, Dad was around a lot of different places coming up. So mm -hmm. he might have. He probably did because uh, Randy really appreciated the work of James Reese Wood. Mm -hmm. He educated uh, us about him. Mm -hmm. He celebrated his music. And uh, I don't know if you were there, Kim, at the tribute at Columbia. No, um, it, it was on. Um, uh, in Tribeca? It was on New York, um, uh, one of the colleges some time ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, he played his music. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's uh, NYU. Uh, no, I'm, oh, I'm sure Long Island NYU. University, uh, they have, um, not Long Island University, BMCC. Oh, okay. They produced the fir very first big one that Dad did mm -hmm. uh, about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little longer than that. Yes. And since then, he's done it other places mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda, who's the producer, I can't call her last name right now. But she's a producer Linda. at DMCC, <laughs> uh, Tribeca uh, Performing Arts. Oh, yes. wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I've actually had the pleasure, it's familiar to me, um, when I saw his, your dad's picture, Randy Weston's picture, I recognized him. I'm not sure maybe from one of the schools, but definitely from the um, African Street Fest, International African yes. Arts Fest. Oh, yeah. I grew up going to that, so... Immediately, he I played, recognized him. Yes, he yeah. played there several times. Yes. And right. he used to get up very early in the morning and walk that side. Mm -hmm. He would get his paper and his coffee mm -hmm. and he would walk. Because, uh, you know Radio Raheem? Of course. Yeah, he would, uh, Radio, he, say he would see him, on the Radio would be on his bike, and he'd see him like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, walking. Getting that early mm -hmm. start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Getting yeah. that inspiration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I'm so happy that you're doing this tribute, and I've gotten more of an advanced, um, I guess, interest in your dad and jazz and my children as well because mm -hmm. now they have a song that they've practiced and rehearsed, and yes. um, the song is called Caribbean Children. Congolese. Oh, excuse me. Congolese Children. My bad. Excuse me. Congolese Children. How could I forget? And they've been doing it for the last couple of, of days and really appreciate the song and are happy to do this tribute in honor of your dad. Mm -hmm. So thank you. I really want y'all to come out. Make sure y'all come out and support. 2 to 5.30. 2 to 5.30. Be there at 2 o'clock. Be there at 2 o'clock and, and check out this artwork. And there's a wonderful yeah. panel discussion, a panelist discussion. Can you tell us a little bit more about who's on the panel? Uh, right now we have TK Blue. We have, you know, a card. Oh, and sure. I'll put my glasses on, y'all. Sure. Is it on here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, it's not on here. Okay, let me get my phone. Okay, well, yep. anyway, we have TK Blue. Yes. We have Neil Clark, both who played with my dad for over 30 years. And uh, we have T.S. Monk, Thelonious Monk Jr. Oh, right. Uh, because, of course, my dad loved Thelonious. Mm. And he's known uh, Monk Jr. since before he was born. Mm -hmm. And my brother and, and uh, inspired because Toot was like torn, he wanted to play funk, and he felt, well, I don't know, I should be playing jazz, and my brother said, you better go play what you want to play, so they all used to, when they were like in their early 20s, they played together, um, funk, mm. and um, who else, well, Deirdre Montague was supposed to come, Deirdre was a dancer in Morocco uh, that walked in the club and stayed for two years and danced. It's a, it's a magical story. Deirdre has been out quite over the last few years, and uh, so I'm going to go, either if I can't interview her, I'm going to give her to write something, and I will read about it, uh, read it, read it out loud and share it. Mm -hmm. um, we also have... Um, Robin? Uh, Robin Kelly? Robin will not be there oh, either, because okay, okay. we thought we were going to do it the weekend before, and he would be in New York, but things change. So he's going to send a statement. But we are uh, going to have people all through the audience that know him mm -hmm. and that know him in different capacities because he was around with the East and all of that way back in the day. And um, I definitely want uh, to, make, to make sure that people in the community understand that Dad was a man of the community. He loved this, this guy. 
Oh, it's uh, 375 Stuyvesant Avenue on the corner of Decatur, and um, and that's called Stuyvesant Mansion. Oh, that's beautiful. So I would tell you all to get there no later than 2 o'clock, because if you're late, you're going to blow. You're going to miss the performances, you're going to miss the panel, you're going to miss the art. You know, I want you to come and have the whole experience. That's true. Okay, and bring a little cash. That's right. as I said before, these works are for sale. And we want to support these artists. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, I know you've done a lot, you know, and I mean, a lot is just an understatement. You've done a plethora of work between the two of you. So, I know we didn't touch mostly on, but you're an excellent artist. You are actually an actor, and you are a phenomenal artist and curator, and I'd like for you to just touch a little briefly on some of the works that you've done and maybe even some of the other celebrities that you have worked with, if you could just touch briefly on that. Yeah, um, throughout this festival, since its inception, we have had master artists. Uh, back in 1999, when Randy first came on board to be a part of the festival with us, mm -hmm. it was at the Walter Reed Theater oh, right. at Jazz at Lincoln Center. Oh, wow, wow. Yes, wow. Yeah, yes. And, um, and what was so remarkable about that was Randy was there, Rodney Kendrick was there, but A.C. Hollingsworth, who was a very celebrated mm -hmm. visual artist, mm -hmm. we honored him as well. All right. And hopefully, uh, brother Jim Carroll, who was the photographer on the scene at that event, uh, I'm hoping to get some photographs mm -hmm. um, from him. Okay. And also, um, Mr. Ashby, who played with Duke Ellington, mm. was there. And I'm going to share a photograph oh, of Mr. Ashby, because I believe he passed away right after that event, oh. maybe 2000, somewhere. Mm. In but there's a wonderful photograph of Randy and Mr. Ashby, mm. because the event was a tribute to Duke Ellington. Mm. And um, we were honoring Ruth Ellington. Oh, wow. She came to the event that yeah. day, but her son came. Oh, that was nice. And we gave everyone claps. And mm -hmm. uh, just thinking back, I said, wow. Randy Weston, A.C. Holmes, wow. Um There were a few other people there. Mm -hmm. But that was the first um, time that we really had the opportunity to present Randy, work mm -hmm. with Randy. And... Ever since that time, he has just been um, a supporter. Oh, that's epic. He has been a supporter. That's epic. And Brandy, even though he is world renowned, he never treated anyone like, I'm a celebrity. Mm -hmm. He stayed connected to the community. That's right. And if you were doing something positive, he was there. He, he supported you. Oh, right. Yes. And I have to also quickly mention, Randy supported women. Mm -hmm. With every That's important. Women musicians, women mm -hmm. artists were doing. Yes. He supported it. Now, I know Camille Furman is now a part of the Jazz at Lincoln Center okay. Orchestra, but we need more women. Oh, because right. women help shape jazz. That's right. I'd like you to say it again. Say, women have helped. Shaped shape jazz. jazz. Hello. They have shaped African contemporary music. I think women have just shaped everything. And all our shape. right. And the right. shapely women love, like us, of course, we have to shape everything else. So. Shapely and shapely. <laughs> That's right. 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 An award from uh, President Obama. You received the Art Award or uh, well, President Obama. Tell us about that, please. It wasn't actually an award, but a it, proclamation, it, a, a complimentary mm -hmm. copy of this Arts and Humanities proclamation. Oh, right. And you know, and it was so timely because it was uh, an event. And I'm going to share my thoughts. But it was an event happening in Harlem, mm -hmm. and people came out of the theater and said, "Hey, no, what you honor?" I said, "You know, it's, it's, it's okay." Right. You know, it's not all about accolades. Mm -hmm. um, it's about having integrity and, your and doing what you love. That's right, your passion. Absolutely. And I believe so, you create karma, uh, good karma when you share and give. Yes. So you are getting awards. Exactly. That's right. Every day. Exactly. That's right. So when the envelope, the envelope came in the mail, the, <laughs> the, 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 postman, the postman knocked on the door, and I opened the door, and I said, the White House. 
Okay. Get out. <laughs> and it was a complimentary copy. Oh. So the, the, the well moral deserved. of the story is yes. you never know who's watching. I so Just always Word put your, your best foot forward. Oh, yes. Be honest. Yes. Be loving. Be supportive of yes. one another. That's important. That's important. Be and your, your 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 accolades will come in due time. It's the truth. And the most high God is where we get our yes. most accolades. The most important accolades, right? So there you have it. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Now please, Miss Kim, yeah. tell me some of the beautiful people you have worked alongside with with your acting, um, you know, along with your producing and you know, things of that nature in the theater. Well, I want to say that in the beginning, um, when I came out of college, I was, um, I can tell you how old I am, but anyway, I was the first graduating class from the Aaron Davis Center. Wow! Uh, and I had the opportunity to work with Francis Foster, mm. I mean, Israel Hicks, mm. I mean, phenomenal people who yes. were actually making a living, mm. not just professors, you know, mm. they actually made their living as artists, mm. and that to me is the most important. Because yes. nobody can, they, you can theorize all you want. Mm -hmm. And then when I got out of school, I was blessed also to work with Miss Gertrude Jeanette mm -hmm. and um, Mr. Roger Furman, who are now passed. Mm -hmm. But the one thing about them, they were really self-made people. Mm -hmm. And uh, Roger had his own space on 125th Street for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Gertrude Jeanette just passed at 104. Oh, wow. Two years Praise ago. God. Mm -hmm. And wow. I used to call her the general. <laughs> she would tap that stick, baby, and mm. you fall in line. Mm. But uh, I would say that Gertrude taught me how to walk the stage, and Roger taught me how to make an entrance. Mm. Um, Very important. And then Mr. Woody King. I cannot uh, leave out Mr. Woody King, and I always say he gets on my last Because <laughs> uh, I, I do tell it like it is. Mm. Uh, but I'm so grateful for Woody, because he really believed in me. Mm. He really thought I was like one of the great talents. Mm. Um, sometimes that militancy can knock you out a lot mm. of stuff, but I have no regrets. I lived a good life. Yes, and, um, Woody gave me some great opportunities. I worked with Roxy Roker. Mm. Um, I worked with Molly Yoba. Mm. I worked with uh, and so many people. I mm. can't even, you know, I feel bad. Not and so Felicia Rashad. Felicia Rashad. Mm -hmm. We were doing Raising in the Sun. Oh, wow. Directed by Chanel Perry. And and Felicia couldn't, she worked, I think, like the first weekend, and then she got the coffee show. Wow! And, and so she left. Well, I'm and, now, um, I'd leave too, I guess. Right? Um, <laughs> her sister, uh, Debbie Allen, came to see me, because Debbie inspired me when I was in performing arts high school. I mm. saw Debbie do Raisin in the Sun on mm. Broadway. And I always told her I loved her. I loved what she did with it. Mm. And she came up to me, and she told me, it was, you know, it's not ego tripping, but it's just a beautiful thing that oh, another oh, artist. Hey, an artist says to you, she says, oh, she says, you did it better than me. Whoa! I now, that's said, no, I didn't. I said, you were dancing. I wasn't dancing. That girl was dancing. Oh, wow. Crying all over the stage. She mm -hmm. said, no, she said, you are really a great actor. Oh, wow. And another person that I that gave me a great uh, compliment was Ed Bullins. Mm -hmm. And Ed Bullins was from back in the black theater movement from the 60s okay. in Harlem. Uh -huh. And I uh, did a piece of his. It was actually a trilogy. And uh, it was one of them, Son Come Home. And it was kind of, you know, you got the feeling it might have been based a little bit on Malcolm because it was in Boston and, mm -hmm. and it dealt with the sister. But uh, he came up to me and he told me, he said that he thought I did it the best in 40 years that it's been. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so That's when awesome. somebody like Ed Boone mm -hmm. mm -hmm. tells you something like that, yes. if I never acted again, That's priceless. That was priceless yes, for me. Yes, absolutely. So um, I work with some great people. I can't name them all right this minute, mm -hmm. but I have worked with some great people because I do, I need to read, you know, I'm getting up there, I can't remember shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I had a great time in theater until I didn't. So uh, it came to a point where I, I wasn't enjoying myself mm -hmm. as an actress as mm -hmm. much, and I'm not going to go into what, why, mm -hmm. but I always loved producing, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to direct, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to have a comedy troupe uh, called Out of Control, and we produced at Perks. And we did political satire. Mm -hmm. And it was a multiracial company or ethnic okay. company. We had 10 writers and 15 actors. Mm -hmm. And um, I started stretching my writing and directing muscles back then. Mm -hmm. And I started to write sketch comedy and uh, direct it. And 
And I realize that I love all aspects of film. Oh, okay. I love to be behind as well as in front. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say I'll never act again because you never say never. Right. You That's know, true. but I really have some writing. I'm trying to finish two screenplays and mm -hmm. a TV series. And I want the TV series to be live. Mm -hmm. You know, it can go on TV eventually, but right. I would love it to be like theater. And I do once a month an episode. Oh, that's episode. a beautiful idea. Yeah, so I want to do something like that. So, yeah. You answered my next question because I was going to ask, are you working on any pieces? Yeah. You know, um, so in the near future, I know we'll look forward to some of your pieces and some of us will come to audition to play one of these roles okay. and one of your extravagant numbers. I'll tell you numbers. what I'm working on quickly. I'm working on uh, helping develop, and I don't know if you guys know Sharon Gordon. Mm, Sharon yes, Gordon sounds Caribbean, familiar. but she's in the Caribbean community, but okay. she's been on radio and blah, blah, blah. But she wants to write a one-woman show, so mm. I'm waiting for her to send me that first rough draft. And then um, I'm going to do my 10th Potpourri World Women Work Series. Mm -hmm. And Potpourri basically is develops new works by women. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of unique because I give them two readings during the month. So after they get feedback and they work with a dramaturg. Okay. And as Gwen said, that's how mine is also. It's emerging. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, writers who have been out here. Um, mm -hmm. Some of them, oh, I guess, could be considered master, but you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm going to do that, and I'm taking the best work from the last 10 years. Okay. And give them uh, a final reading, and then we're going to uh, I'm going to publish a book. Oh, wonderful, yes. wonderful. Okay. So we have That's my books. plan. Yes. Well, books are in the, in the future, yes. and more productions in the future, and I'd love to be in, in any of them. Any of the productions, okay. I'd love to come and tell me how I could, even if it's just one little part. You know, I say, they went that way. You know, give, me the, give, give me that part. Well, well, you have the right part. energy for theater, <laughs> so you're very yes. theatrical. Yes. No yes. doubt about thank it. Thank you, thank maybe you. Maybe we can get Gwen to do like a coffee table of her work. That would be beautiful. Well, maybe we can turn this exhibit into a coffee table book. That would exactly. be wonderful. Mind. Yeah, we, we were talking about that. And that's an excellent idea. Now. You know, something that continues on mm -hmm. after ex the exhibit comes yeah. out. Yeah. So that's the goal. And I know there's some things coming up um, that hopefully we'll be able to tap into uh, celebrating, continuing the celebration of, uh, of Brandy. And even just thinking back to 2004 when we honored Brandy mm -hmm. at one of the um, receptions. And everyone was just so thrilled mm -hmm. to meet Brandy. Mm -hmm. And to have him, him come and just be a part of us, mm -hmm. you know. Over the years, we had we had panel discussions. Um, on one one panel, we uh -huh. had um, Quincy Troop who oh. wrote the, the book, uh, um, the Miles Davis. Well, he co-wrote it. Uh, it's autobiographical. It's autobiographical. Autobiographical. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, that was Quincy True. And um, he's a great poet. Yes, yeah, he's yeah. a great poet. Yeah, a poet. And uh, and then there was a brother who was a drummer. I just can't think of his name right now. But and looking back at the pictures, he had passed away right after that mm. that discussion. So through the years, there, there was this significant time mm -hmm. it's like where things happened and archiving. Really. We have a lot of pictures. It's, it, it, it just have we just have to go through it. But I I I, I real quick the picture of Mr. As I think it's pronounced Aspie or Aspie on lots of people to see it. Yes, because it's a phenomenal it, 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 a photo. Mm -hmm. And in the background, one of the um, visual artists did it painting of Duke Ellington mm -hmm. and they're standing in front of this oh, painting. Oh, the picture's in the painting. And, 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 yes, the painting is in the picture of Randy and Mr. Al Mr. Ashton. Right. Oh, that's that beautiful. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a great photograph. But, you know, the festival needs more support. Mm -hmm. We need the jazz community to support us more. Um, Many of my friends, you know, they kind of understand what I'm doing, but then there's still that side of them that don't understand. Mm -hmm. But I think more and more now, um, as they're seeing more and more of the exhibitions, such as this one dedicated to Randy, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. see it all ties in. Right. And seeing how the art and the music is tied in. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and her website? Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Share. So we, we want people to go to the website because you can download the flyer for Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the website is www.artsandjazzfestny.com. There's a PDF of the flyer. You can download it. Um, and then as we... Uh, as you know, as we get further into the year, um, you'll see more stuff on the um, on the, the website because um, there's so much archive information. Mm -hmm. It's a job. To put all I can imagine. Yeah, right. I can imagine. But you know, for now, we have some of the have some materials on the website. But importantly, join us on Saturday at 2 p.m. for the panel discussion and artist talk and. For those who don't know what an artist talk is, we always have a talk associated with an exhibition because it's very important that people understand the intellectual side of mm, what you do. That's true. You can see the creative, mm -hmm. but hear the artist the speak while they're right. here. That's right. Talk with us it's so you can great. understand what uh, inspires us, what we're saying in our work. That's right. And that's why I the always do um, an, an artist talk. And then getting back to um, the book, um, it would be wonderful if we can take everyone's work and, and more because mm -hmm. there's some artists who they need to get their work every, into. Every year, it's maybe a show. calendar or something, right, right. some type of a pu publication. Right. Yeah, every year, every month, and every year, you know, mm -hmm. the collector's item, you know, they do yes, it with, they the, with, the, with the calendars. Um, just, a, just an idea. Um, and I just want to thank you and salute you thank because you. what you're doing is so important just to capture, you know, these images oh, yeah. of our legacy, mm -hmm. you know, and thank you for just continuing on with your father's legacy and yes. just paying tribute thank to him. It's so important, you know, right. and because um, if you don't tell the story, who's here to well, tell it? Well, that's the deal because, right. you know, uh, some people might leave the country and never to be heard from again. Mm. Uh, I do want to say that... Um, I am putting together a foundation. It's called the Randy Weston Legacy Foundation. Right, okay. And the whole point of this foundation is to teach you, mm -hmm. educators, and future audiences his music mm -hmm. and his philosophy of African rhythms. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't call his music jazz. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. He called it African rhythms. African because rhythms. as we know, all music stems from where? Africa. Hello. That's right. Hello. And, That's and, right. and it is our classical music. Jazz is American classical music. Right. Okay. So, um, yes, I want to just make sure that I'm hoping that some young person will come and love it and say, okay, as I get older, They'll say, okay, and I can pass it on to of them course. to keep it going. Of course. You know, because we have to have, we, we have to build institutions. Yes, oh, we yes. do. You yes, know, do. you can't just wake up one day and say, oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a school. I'm going to do this. No, it takes a lot of time. It mm -hmm. takes a lot of commitment. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to empower I feel it. I feel it. people. Mm -hmm. I already feel it. We've spoken it into existence. Mm -hmm. The Randy Weston Foundation. Legacy. The legacy continues. Mm -hmm. We're going to have our children playing all of his music composed. So. That would be so And beautiful. have others dedicate their time to help teach the children about interest. And even maybe some of the foundation can help to, to pay for some instruments to, you know, yeah, for, for children. Yeah, raise money. That would yes, be wonderful. That would raise money, sure. That would yeah. be so excellent. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yes, yes. I love so, that whole concept. Thank yeah. you so much. We had an extraordinary time here. Just giving us a little, little glimpse of what is happening. Please tell them again where to come. How is it? Is it free to come in? Yes. yes. The event is free. The beginning is Saturday, January 18th at 2 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. at 375 Stuyvesant Avenue at the historic Stuyvesant Mansion. And I'm going to quickly add, it's very important that uh, the community knows that the English family right. owns, That's the the still English. owns yes. this right. historic site. Yes. And Dr. English was a phenomenal doctor, well-respected. Right. And, and for them to open their doors to the artists, that's yes. what we need in our community. That's the Absolutely. businesses have to connect with us. Come to the place. Yes. Come to the exhibit. Buy a ticket. Buy a piece of art. Yes. And on the website, uh, we created a video. 
and the video is of the works of art that's in the um, show, mm -hmm. so people can go see it. Right, they can preview some and of the art. Preview oh, some wonderful. of it. But Jordan, yes. they can make their mind up. They ain't got to wait till they get there to make a decision on which one they gonna buy. Right. Right. Okay. So go on and preview some of that artwork on the website. Tell them the website again. It's www.artsandjazzfestny.com. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I'm, I'm complete. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, well, I, I want to say thank you. Oh, yes. thank you for sharing, just thank coming you. and oh, yeah. building with us and taking time out of your busy schedule because I know you're some busy sisters. And I said, look, these sisters got class. Okay, Brother Hank, you have to make sure you jazz up the place for these sisters here. Yeah. All right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, I don't want to say that Spirit was definitely working because I can just met Sister Murr. Uh, officially mm -hmm. on uh, Saturday. Yes. Oh, uh, we had talked uh, yes. previous because mm -hmm. of her children and the other young kids. But uh, we shout out to uh, Queen Black Rose uh -huh. for Queen making Black this look up because yeah. I said, I want some children to sing Congolese children. Who am I going to call? Black Rose. Mm -hmm. Cause Black Rose is in the community. Right. And she's an elder in the community. I know she had her, her finger on the post. She turned me on to this beautiful woman. Thank you. And uh, we were just talking. She got me a musician. Oh, and they started talking about the, red, the TV thing. And so we said, let's do it. Oh, right. It all rises in place. Yes. yes. It rises. In place. Right. Say, everything is connected to everything. I say in divine yeah. order. And then I come here, mm -hmm. I'm reading your bio, mm -hmm. not even realizing that you and I have met mm -hmm. at yes, NAMA. Yes. Could you imagine? Time. At Shout great time. To, awesome to time. Um, Imani. Imani Powell. She's a beautiful sister. Support her. Yes, with her crystals, please. And, and um, Dawn Jones is her partner. Yes. And they with the face nice on cards. Yes. Beautiful yes. greeting right. card. With the card. So. Shout out to all my beautiful sisters. Shout outs again and unk salute to Brother Hank. Unk, unk, unk. And shout outs to all the viewers who are watching. Thank you. Once again, this has been another episode of Magnets, Crystals, and pyramids, y'all. Oh. welcome. Thank y'all. I hate the Saturday. I don't like a lot of people. Yeah. Welcome. I'm going to ride my bike. All right. It's right around the corner. Yes. We Give thanks. We appreciate that. Oh, nice. girl, I'm up on Twitter. I'm up on this, and I found a I'm new site. I'm going to put it on my, on my site. To put it here, here, I'm going to put it on my almsgiving page. We're going to share it out. We'll mm -hmm. share it out. Mm-hmm.